So we camped right up there for the night. It wasn't bad. And now we are heading out. We're, we're gonna, at least the plan at the moment is to just go attend to the campsite. But we'll see if that holds up. Hi. But there's uh, water right down there. So we got enough water to get us out. And there's Casey, he stayed 100 yards away in the campsite. But I don't remember if I actually took a picture of the shelter. So this is the shelter. So today is the 26th. Um, I did take that little picture in camp, but now we're heading out. Casey's walking with us right now. He's he's fighting some blisters, which, you know, that happens. And um, one thing we were telling him, which some of you guys may or may not know, um, if your feet are starting to bother you, it's real important every time you stop, take your shoes off, dry them out. Um, you know, if there's a stream there and you can soak them, that's always nice if you're having aches and pains. It does take extra time but it can mean the difference between your feet turning into ground burger. Um, the whippoorwill. Hey, Rich, talk to me about the whippoorwill. Oh. <laughs> yes, this whippoorwill was insane. And he was right over our tent and he was screaming his head off like nonstop. It was crazy. Um, we met the um, lady when we, when we met her, we talked about her last night, the lady with, the kids. She did a really good job keeping those other guys under control. They turned in early. Uh, so yeah, we're just heading up the trail. It's supposed to be hotter today. And we got a little later start, but we're still out before eight. If you're a nobo, this is a big deal. This is halfway, according to the um, Appalachian Trail Museum anyway. And this is Magellan and Trapper, and they have come halfway. They're pretty quick. We saw them yesterday. There's one flying. Where? There's one that tree there. Oh. Well, we assume you can hear them. That's the cicadas. Rich just saw one flying, so. Oh dear. I knew they were coming. I just was hoping maybe we'd get farther up the trail and they wouldn't be as thick. <laughs> Hopefully the bears and the birds and the snakes and everybody else will eat them all. It's good. It is gonna be interesting because we've never actually experienced them in the wild. We've only experienced them in the city. And they were a big enough problem there. <laughs> we are five miles in. Trail has not been bad. Um, physically, really not doing bad at all from the 20. Um, speak for yourself. No, oh, he says speak for myself. Um, my left hip is acting up, but it could be because we changed the way my pack was riding to get me more air on my back. I mean, Every, th every time you do something, you fix one problem and cause another one. So hopefully it will just resolve itself. We are not too far from Tom's Run Shelter. And there's a really pretty creek. Okay, got to keep going. Gotten into a little bit of rocks, but for the most part, it's been a real easy trail. So I guess I'll turn this off because the rocks have got condensation on them from the change in temps. There's a lot going on here. Um, bear poles, picnic tables, lots of places to tent. There's the actual shelter. I'll go up there and see. It is? Okay. And there's like a little pavilion and it's literally right on trail. Because we weren't even going to stop, but it's right on trail. Wow, we just left the shelter in this little creek. I mean, the water is crystal clear. It's so pretty down here. There's another big monument to the halfway point. I guess it just depends what year where the actual halfway point is. Um, of course, for us, the halfway point's like somewhere 500 miles up the road. I don't think there's gonna be a sign and flag. What do you think, bud? Make our own damn sign. Yeah, our own darn sign. Well, that'll get your blood blowing. I saw him, ran the other way, which is like, it's a black snake, but he's a good size one. Go off and eat cicadas, bud. Oof. My heart rate didn't go up as much as I thought it would. Um, we are 
like a mile and a half from camp, I think. It's hot. We were both saying this feels more like Florida than Pennsylvania. Actually, it looks a little like it with all the vines and stuff. Um, Rich was saying that it's a good 20 degrees above normal temperature wise. So that was one of the reasons why we pushed so hard yesterday because the weather was more moderate and uh, today's gonna be the hottest day. So we'll get into the campsite, um, you know, right around lunchtime. And then it's supposed to rain overnight. Originally it was gonna be like severe thunderstorms or something, but that's out of the forecast. And then tomorrow it'll start to cool off. And the next few days, it's actually gonna get a little chilly at night. So I guess we're gonna just have all the weather in one week. But yeah, we are almost at eight miles, so we don't have too much farther to go. Oh, we've come down by a really nice creek. As hot as it is, it's hard to resist the urge to jump in, but um, we're gonna keep going. It's just not that far to the campground. And hopefully, you know, we haven't called ahead or anything. It's like, what happens if there's no spots? But it's not the weekend yet, so hopefully there's not a bunch of people that have come for the week. <clears throat> Just like that, the terrain changed. Now we're in a really pretty pine forest and it's shadier. Hopefully it'll stay this way for a while. And we came in and passed a bunch of cabins um, that appear to be private residences and then uh, came down onto this state road and walked for a little ways. And we are now entering the state park. So, that's good because it's just starting to get really hot and we're going to come in, figure out how to get a campsite and uh, just have a relaxing afternoon. So it'll end up being just shy of 10 miles. We'll uh, take more pictures once we get down here and see what's going on. Well, here is the Pine Grove Furnace General Store, home of the Half Gallon Challenge. I'm sure there are people doing it. Um, we're not going to do it because we haven't gone halfway yet. We're going to come in here and find out how to register for a campsite. So, ice cream challenge. Ice cream challenge. Flavors? I did the chocolate vanilla swirl and vanilla. And time? 10 minutes and 54 seconds. You're an animal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you can if you want. So, we have a new contender. Uh, what were your flavors? Uh, so I got some swirl action. Uh huh. And then uh, just plain old vanilla. And what was your time? I don't want to get too many goodies. 8:24. Ah, new record. <laughs> and your trail name? Kriegis. And you are northbound? I'm known what? You're northbound? Northbound. Started when? Started April 2nd. Yep, flying. <laughs> Congratulations. So that is Iron Master's Mansion Bed and Breakfast. Not Bed and Breakfast, Hostel. Um, a couple of the guys that we are kind of flip-flopping in and around, um, they're staying there and they have like a men's dorm and a women's dorm. I think it's $35. Um, we are going to go try to find our campsite. It's hot, <laughs> especially after eating all that food. Um, but it's but we're under a severe thunderstorm watch, so we want to go ahead and get set up and see what befalls us. There he goes. A visitor in our campsite. He's looking at me with an attitude. I'm getting, he's sort of giving me side eye. Well, he wants to know if you're going to feed him. I'm not going to feed him. Go eat cicadas. That's your job. So, there job. oh, there he goes. Um, this is our campsite. We are in 33, which is a pet friendly one. But the reason I picked it was because it's really close to the showers. You go down that little path over there and you're at the showers. Um, they are nice. There were three showers in the women's. How about in the men's? Yes, and uh, that's Casey's tent. I feel bad if I knew other people, they could have come and tented here with us. But yeah, there's water just right at the end of the street. Um, we have everything we could ask for. We have a clothes drying rack. It's booming, but we haven't had any rain yet, um, which is fine. And we're trying to decide if we want to walk to the general store to get food. It is a far-ish. It's probably about, what, half a mile? Yeah. Yeah. So, we don't know. We should have carried food out, but we didn't. Hi there. 520, May 26, thunderstorm. Yeah. 
In the tent. At a campground. We're at Pine Grove Furnace Campground. And um, yeah, I think you probably know that from the video. But uh, it was it was definitely the right choice to take a short day. Not we were only good, for yeah. this. We were good. We yeah. took a short day. Because when you average them out together, that's 15 miles a day. So that's good. Um, it was really getting hot and sticky before this front came through and not being out hiking with our backs on. It was, you know, we got into the store early, had that, a big burger. I took a picture of it. I didn't video it. Hung out with the kids doing the challenge. That was um, great. It was just a nice day. We came over here and took a shower, which the secret to not having cold, cold water is to just hold the button as long as possible. You don't get really hot water, but you get warm water. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> uh, the little heads up that we didn't know, we walked back over to the store right before this deluge um, and planned to get like just something light like for us and Daisy and the grill closes at 4.15. The store's open till 5, but the grill closes. So we brought back Cokes and chips and, you know, we, those burgers are so good that nobody's really hungry anyway. Um, plan tomorrow is to head out and um, there's another store that's like two miles away. So we will probably go through there and have something to eat. I'm hoping they have hot coffee. Yeah, well, we'll have coffee here before we leave. Um, but, oh, it's raining hot. I'm getting splashed somewhere. But uh, then we're going to go probably about 16 miles and uh, then roll into Boiling Springs the next morning. Things are going pretty well. Um, yeah. You know, nothing much else going on. I guess I should probably turn this off to figure out why I'm getting splashed. <laughs> she got it. Bye. So, this is the current situation. It has been a frog strangler. Um, so far, I have managed to keep my shoes dry. But this, this puddle is becoming a little concerning. <laughs> oh, dang. We'll see.